the other song. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's so good to be with you here at Cafe Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. And this is the show that I do daily, except for when things happen to me and I can't get to this show. And I would say you be calm, because I'll come around um, on it. And I'm doing this show wearing a bonnet, because I got a bald head. And I gotta protect myself against the sun. Mike's Daily Podcast. And this is my show, and it's number one on the podcast charts. No, it's not. Nobody knows this podcast. So, Mike's thank you Daily for finding it. Podcast. You have uncovered yeah. treasure. Precious treasure. That's what this show is. And it's Mike Matthews. Hey, I discovered yesterday that I am a fireman. They call me the fireman. That's my name. Go around cleaning up other people's stuff. That's my game. Because people make a ton of mistakes. And I am the net. I am the that catches it for a segment we call Back in Black. Bang. Lewis Black used to do that on um, The Daily Show. Does he still do it? I met him in Agoura Hills at the Canyon Club. Just before he was doing his set, he was hanging out over off to the side of the bar of the of the stage at a bar. And I walked up to him and said, I love your segment back on back in black on the Daily Show with Jon Stewart. And he said, thank you. Thank you very much. Very big smile. Very kind gentleman. And then he goes crazy on stage and he cusses a lot and he's amazing. <laughs> You know, what's funny is he said that he spent years trying to get his comedy, his his cadence, his his shtick down. And he didn't realize until he went completely nuts on stage that that's, that was his thing. And he made it original. And here's today's podcast picture. Because you got to consider other people have done the crazy, the angry. I'm mad as bleep, but I'm not going to take it anymore. Yes, I didn't say H-E double hockey sticks. I bleeped myself on the show. Phrasing. So the podcast picture today, just to get a little bit past what we were discussing, was the great, late, great Basil the Boxer. Yes, there he is now. And he was staring out towards uh, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco, Alcatraz and everything, looking out from Point Isabel. Seven years ago, that picture was taken. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. A lot of pet pictures lately. Pet pictures. Did the podcast pictures. The last one was of Rodler, the feral cat that's become very friendly and kind. This picture taken a week ago. You can see that as well. But this is FF episode 2285. You can catch all the pic- podcast pictures and past podcast plosives at mikesdailypodcast.com. And you can uncover a lot of fun stuff there. So, all that to say, Lewis Black's a genius. And who else is a genius? Oh, Brian Green, the physicist. And he talked about matter and time and space And they gave him a bunch of song titles And, he, and they asked him, you know, are, would this sound feasible These song titles that have the word time in it So they told him time after time And he said, absolutely <laughs> Okay What was another one? Time is on my side He said, absolutely not <laughs> Ah, I think that's on the Commonwealth Club podcast If you want to track that down Very interesting discussion But today, I want to discuss some stuff That will help you Because that's this podcast What it's all about is helping you I would say about five years ago I took a turn with this podcast This podcast is ten years old now Back in May it turned ten And I took a turn about five years ago And I said I'm going to do a little less of the current events Even though this is a daily podcast I'll talk about daily events type stuff Current event type stuff here and there But I'm more about helping you, the listener And I try and My goal in the beginning of doing this podcast Was trying to find news items That maybe you don't 
catch every day You don't find every day But you know what Everyone's doing that these days We're all news hounds We're all digging into the internet And finding stories that reinforce what we believe Which isn't exactly a good idea In fact on Monday I'm going to be working with someone Who believes some things That I am 100% Absolutely diametrically opposed to But I will help him Because I am a radio professional I will help him get his show on the radio But behind the scenes When the microphone is off It will be interesting What he and I discuss Because there is a lot of stuff I do not agree with And I listen to his show from time to time And I'm like wow Nope, 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 nope That's not good Don't say that Oh my gosh you said it Uh oh But that's the thing as Reva McIntyre pointed out We need to do a lot more talking But even more listening We need to listen to each other Because we're, we're forming opinions too hastily in this world That was my little song for you It's my song to help you get through life Make sure to listen for my new musical Which I'll be uh, Directing live on stage Which will feature Great songs like that Okay No, what I'm doing all this to say Is that anxiety Is affecting everyone Is is a killer And you may not believe In the vaccine You think the vaccine is going to kill you Or maybe you believe in the vaccine And you think COVID-19 is going to kill you Or the variants Or the COVID plus Or whatever else But Keep this in mind Anxiety is one of the biggest Diseases plaguing us As a society in today's world So Here are some coping strategies If you're feeling anxious Or stressed One of them is Take a time out Practice Practice, uh, you know, kind of a calming down period. You know, you need a, a moment away t- t- to unplug from it all. Here are some of the suggestions that the ADAA.org suggests. That's the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. They say listen to music, meditate, get a massage. Learn relaxation techniques Maybe practice yoga I'm awful at that As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley 10 today The last place on earth You know what I had forgotten? I had gone to see the Jack Daniels Distillery In Lynchburg, Tennessee I should have posted a picture Maybe next show A podcast picture from there Although that was in September of 2009 So maybe I'll wait till September before doing that But I, I like to post podcast pictures That have to do with the time In which we are all living Whether it be this time Seven years ago Or this time now or whatever Cafe whatever I mean cafe anyway But I forgot that in the tour They show you the safe That Jack Daniels kicked When he got mad And he Hurt his toe Gangrene set in And he died from That Basically his, t- his Kicking the, the safe killed him Basically and I'd forgotten that Story because I had gone on a tour When people would talk about Jack Daniels I'd say oh I went on the Jack Daniels Tour and that never came up I'd always talk about oh It has a beautiful Creek that runs past it and oh You know they to get the charcoal uh, to, to, to do the charcoal filtering Of the whiskey I think they actually burn Slats of barrels Like the barrels that they use To store the whiskey And they burn them to create the charcoal That I, I think that was it I forget And that the ducks Like to be in the river And that the tour guide said Those ducks are Jack Daniels ducks There was a joke there and I forgot it Oh here's the one thing I remember most About the Jack Daniels distillery No I did not get to drink whiskey there But they take you over to the vats They probably don't do this anymore Because of COVID But they would open up the lid And they would move it up and down To kind of 
push some of the air out of the vat And they told you Open your mouth As close as you can to the vat And you'll get some of that That air coming out of the vat It it tasted like whiskey You were getting like the essence of whiskey But it was air It was air whiskey That's what I remember most <laughs> That and they gave us Lemonade at the end And the town of Lynchburg I walked around it It was completely quiet Nobody was there I remember seeing Oh I bought a shirt That's right I remember I got a free Shot glass that I still have And there's a place called Miss Boba's That I met Boba Baba Something like that And I say Boba now Because Boba is a Iced tea that we all drink In the Bay Area With these big Gobs of They call them tapioca pearls They're these big chewy gobs So they give you a big Round Straw But now we don't have plastic straws anymore So they use these like bamboo straws And just like the paper straws They also disintegrate within about an hour So you gotta drink your drink fast So keep that all in mind When you uncover Things This is what you'll find In your memory A toe with gangrene No Not good No I've been watching a lot of the carpetbagger guy uh, Jacob Lately And It was very interesting Because I didn't realize In 2016 When he was getting started Someone came to his first meetup Who would later also start his own video channel That I also am addicted to Yankee in the South And they gotta know each other But They're both very fascinating They go around and, and Check out Like these little roadside places I never heard of All around America It's fascinating to me Especially now because I work I work at a job that has, uh, in some ways, is a prison. <laughs> I can't get away from it. It's like I'm in orbit around a planet and I can't get out of the orbit. There is so much to do. And in order to take time off, I have to train a lot of people. And it requires more work. To get out of the orbit Than to just sit in the orbit And keep going around and around and around and around But at some point I have to leave the orbit And shoot on off over to Florida To see mom And maybe shoot on over to Texas To see my lovely lady friend's family And maybe even go on a trip Maybe drive up to Shasta or something But there's like no time Ever Ever And this creates anxiety So Stepping back from the problem helps you clear your head. Take a time out. Get some of that anxiousness and that anxiety and that stress away. Eat well balanced meals. Don't skip any meals. Do keep healthful energy energy boosting snacks on hand. I add to that watch the carbs. It's easy to toast bread, eat bread. Well, I guess eat rice Boil pasta Actually, eating, making rice can be a a bit of a chore Because it takes about an hour I mean, I I guess Because I got one of those rice cookers And I guess it takes about an hour for the whole thing to work Well, longer if you're going to do brown rice Which is better for you But I didn't mean to go into this whole tangent about rice I meant to talk about anxiety But my lovely lady friend loves rice And she does the ketchup on rice thing Which I don't get But I don't know if that's a Puerto Rican thing or what But that's just wow A little too much There's so much sugar in the ketchup Starch in the rice Carbs in the rice Ugh It's just too much So exercise daily To help you feel good And maintain your health Check out the fitness tips Here Let's see What are the fitness tips Jog, walk, bike, or dance three to five times a week for 30 minutes. Oh. Set a small daily goal. Find forms of exercise that are fun or are enjoyable. Those are great tips. 
the one thing I really like about Jacob is his dry sense of humor and he'll instantly observe something like let's say he's in uh, oh what this was fantastic he and his daughter and his wife who you never see whereas Yankee in the South the husband and wife are always together Don and Will and then they bring their friends but carpetbagger Jacob is pretty much on his own and I sent him a message the other day, by the way, because he went to the Huntsville Space Center and Space Camp. And I once went there when I lived over there. And um, he mentioned this funny skit that the Upright Citizens Brigade did on Comedy Central back in the 90s. Amy Poehler got her start on that show. And there was an actor named Matt Besser. And they did this skit about how astronauts, oh gosh, don't let the astronauts back on Earth because they're carrying all kinds of diseases from outer space and they're scary and everybody run! Here come the astronauts! Matt Besser is such a funny guy and he used to be on MySpace. This is pre-Facebook. So on MySpace, I found him and I sent him a message saying, I love that astronaut skit. And he wrote me back and he said, those dang astronauts But a little bit more colorful language To which I sent the carpet Bagger this story And he has not responded yet But Because he was he brought that up And that, that's another thing that came up out of the blue Aside from toes with the gangrene This past week Where I was fixing people's mistakes Everybody making mistakes at work Oh my gosh Putting out so many fires Yesterday I was just Ran completely to shreds, bushed, exhausted. Take deep breaths. Inhale and exhale slowly. That's something to remember. Count to 10 slowly. Repeat and count to 20 if necessary. That helps with anxiety. Instead of aiming for perfection, which is not possible, be proud of however close you get. Do your best. Accept that you cannot control everything. Put your stress in perspective. It is really, is it really as bad as you think? Believing in a higher power maybe is something that will help you with that. You know, believing, you know, there was the, uh, oh, what is the, I went to Catholic high school And there was this prayer They said Lord grant me the Courage to Accept the things I cannot change In the Serenity That the, 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 the prayer It's the big prayer I can't think of who did it I might have to Bing that I'm watching a lot of Father Brown lately No not the 1970s version Which is creepy but the more recent version Which the guy that played Rory's dad on Doctor Who This is good I love Father Brown um, It it's, a, it's an interesting show He The guy uh, Father Brown You know He often talks to He catches the murder And often tries to talk them out of You know Get Not to do the thing or to, to, to give themselves up um, Grant me the serenity to accept the things Yeah That whole thing uh, There's Oh is Reinhold Nearer And oh it was used widely in sermons As early as 1934 The prayer spread rapidly Often without attribution to Nieber. Through church groups in the 30s and 40s And was adopted and popularized by AA and other 12-step programs Oh The serenity prayer Appeared in sermons of neighbors As part of the 1944 A Book of Prayers and Services For the Armed Forces Which Niebuhr himself first published in 1951 I see Uh With that's great Okay Took the, another little side Road here Reinhold Niebuhr Well I thought that was something from the Bible itself But apparently not But we used to have to Read it over and over again 
Carl Paul Reinhold Niebuhr was an American Reformed theologian, ethicist, commentator on politics and public affairs, and professor at Union Theological Seminary for more than 30 years. He was one of America's leading public intellectuals for several decades of the 20th century and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Interesting. Okay, back to this though, you know. So yeah, accepting certain things and just Moving on Maintaining a positive attitude Turning those negative thoughts Into positive ones I'll tell you one thing that causes me Insomnia Is when all When I can't think of a single positive thought When it's all just negative 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 I, I cannot fall asleep it, it just I feel sick So it's hard to get into that positive space But It says here Welcome humor a good laugh goes a long way. Get involved, volunteer, or find another way to be active in your community, which creates a support network and gives you a break from everyday stress. Learn what triggers your anxiety. Is it work, family, school, a person, something else you can identify? Write in a journal when you're feeling stressed or anxious and look for a pattern. And finally, talk to someone. Tell friends and family you're feeling overwhelmed and let them know how they can help you. You can talk to a physician, talk to a therapist, get professional help. There you go. That from ADAA.org, the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. One of the things it mentioned there was getting out and exercising. And here it is, summertime, and the air is not easy. It is smoky. The living is not easy Because of the smoke But There are things You should get out And enjoy The season With fun outdoor activities There are 423 national parks More than 6,000 state parks Which state parks Most of the time From what I heard They don't let you They don't let you bring your pets Or is that the national parks? One of those. I used to have, I I, I couldn't like take Basil the Boxer there to one of the two, I forget. Chances are a few of them aren't too far from your home. Are you nearby to go, but not sure what's nearby? You can check out alltrails.com, a site and app that offer locations, ratings, and photos for trails all over the country. Alltrails.com You can also check Social media For local trail And hiking groups Which often share Recent updates On trail conditions And recommendations For must do hikes In your area Surfing Is a sport That brings you Close to nature On beautiful sandy beaches With warm water temperatures And plenty of sunshine Not here in California Or in the Bay Area At least The water is cold You need a wetsuit It can also be physically demanding surfing. It helps to be in good physical condition for paddling, diving under waves, getting up on the surfboard. Uh, There is a, oh, you can start out on soft foam boards that float well and are easier to paddle into the waves. They also are soft and forgiving, which helps since you can expect to fall a lot when first learning to ride the waves. Uh, let the surf school know the specific dates of your trip so the instructions constructors can schedule your lessons around the tides and forecast wave conditions. Golf is another good idea for some people, a great outdoor game, and lessons can really jumpstart your readiness to get on course and have fun. There's no shortage of top teacher lists, but often it comes down to location. If you're able to get to your coach easily, the chance of seeing them as often as you should increases significantly. There is a don't slump at a desk. Oh, because that can affect the swinging of your club, your golf, your your golf swing, your club swinging. If you're new to hiking, 
Research the trail's distance and difficulty Most trail maps and websites include a rating and a description Always carry water Wear sturdy closed, closed toed shoes When I first started dating my lovely lady friend We would go on these hikes with Basil the Boxer And she would have these sandals on I'm like what are you doing? All that dirt is getting there in your toes There's rocks that are gonna and Not only that, sandals are the worst thing for your feet I Take it from me, someone who ruined his feet Hiking all over the place with Basil the Boxer Wearing awful shoes So I'm adamant about that I used to, And I still can't get her to change her sandals Folks, listen to me Listen, like Reba said We need to do more listening Less talk, more listening Listen, I'm giving you helpful stuff here And also if you're going to hike Check the forecast And be sure to tell someone Where you're going And how long you plan to be gone In case something bad happens And you can't call someone Because you have no no uh, coverage That happens sometimes If you're looking into running To get fit and need motivation Not only uh, uh, Oh Sign up for a race that supports a charity Not only will it make you feel good about training But it also helps the people involved with the charity Choose the right shoes Replace them every 5 months or 500 miles Whichever comes first Write the date of purchase on the insole to remind you Wear red, yellow, or orange during your workouts Research suggests that these colors can increase your energy Really? Really? Wear red, yellow, or orange during your workouts? They increase your energy? How is that even possible? This is from the Costco connection, by the way. So you know it's true. Well, I thought it was because those colors, because of uh, you don't want to get hit by cars. So we're outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley. No, really, you don't want to get hit by cars. Look who's here. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Shelly Stewart, gift shop supervisor. We sell red shoes here, Mike Matthews. Excellent. Red shoes. Nifty. What was that thing in the 80s? About wearing red shoes. There was that song that had thing about red shoes in it. There was something. Why can't I think of it? Yikes. There was the... Th- Movie Tom Hanks had a movie The woman with one red shoe No that was the woman in red The girl with one red shoe There was something to do with red shoes If you can think of it Call me at 336 Daily. See I help out Carpetbagger Because he was asking about that skit With the astronauts And now you're going to help me 336 Daily. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM is a Mike Matthews Daily Isn't what this podcast Will be yet again If people start uh, what's the word? Uh, checking their work. Check your work so I don't have to fix your problems later. Check to make sure you did it all correctly. <laughs> Look who else is here. <laughs> or as close to perfection as you can get it. Don't be so hard on yourself because then you'll get full of the anxiety. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Yes, Mike, I have to often tell Floyd to calm down. Because as you can tell, he's a little high strung. Yeah, I'm high strung. Yes, because? Because I'm Floyd the Floor Man. That's right, you're Floyd the Floor Man. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. And that's about all I got for today's show. You can comment on the There's all places to comment Because I'm all kinds of social medias Where I am, I'm on Plus if you go to mikesdailypodcast.com There's a link to where you can listen To my Sunday radio show And I play all kinds of 80s music Probably the one with the red shoe uh, Lyrics in it That I can't think of at the moment uh, That's all there at mikesdailypodcast.com Click on the link and you'll be able to hear that radio show tomorrow Between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Pacific time Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews His podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com Email Mike now at mike.com
jakesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. David Bowie sing about red shoes. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Mike's Podcast.com.